Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just want to talk about Mortal Kombat 2021. Um, I've seen it once in theaters so far. I'm going to go see it again tomorrow. And I've seen it three times on HBO Max, so I'm pretty familiar with in, um, pretty familiar and knowledgeable about the movie, like comfortable and knowing the movie pretty well. Um, I've seen several uh, behind the scenes interviews and, um, you know, behind the scenes stuff like that. Um, YouTube is great for that, to look up that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, so I went through before the newest Mortal Kombat was released and I watched the first one in 95 and then I watched the second one, Annihilation, and then... Um, I rewatched the two Legacies seasons, and then um, I watched Scorpion's Revenge recently, actually, right before I went to see the movie. And then I watched the movie, and then I watched Mortal Kombat Conquest. Actually, I, I, didn't, I didn't watch it. I watched the first episode of Conquest, and it was so terrible I couldn't continue. Um, it was like, it, it was so cheesy and it, it wasn't good cheesy. <clears throat> it was like Sharknado cheesy and that was terrible. That was so terrible. I, I, no more. I actually had to pause the episode four different times to see when it ended because it was so terrible. Um, but anyway, back to the 2021 movie. Um, so from what I've read, they, they didn't want to say out loud any mentions of a sequel because they wanted to see how good this one was going to do, but they have an overall picture of it being kind of like a trilogy where the first one is the setup to the tournament, then the tournament, and then post-tournament. That's from what I've read. But the first one, regardless of all that... Um, information right now um, the movie was amazing uh, I my opinion ex extremely differs from um, other professional critics 90% um, of the time I don't agree with critics anyway uh, but that's just me I think that most critics are actually terrible in their judgment and you can actually see that when you go on sites like Rotten Tomatoes they have their score and then they have the audience score and that is drastically different compared to one another on most occasions so that with that being said I felt that the critics were obnoxiously special about their terrible reviews about this movie I thought that it was really well made um, I thought that the cast was great. I thought that the special effects were amazing. The everything was so severely updated compared to what we've had in the past with Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> so I actually really cannot wait for the second movie to come out. Um, hopefully they announce that soon because right now the first one's doing pretty well and it's a huge hit on HBO Max. <clears throat> But um, I really do like the story, and uh, regardless of what critics had to say about uh, Cole Young, I actually really did like the addition to that and continuing the story. I only really have three complaints, because you really can't have a perfect movie. No, per no movie is perfect. Um, with that being said, the music was my number one uh, problem with the movie, because... They didn't want to use the, the music like they did with the older movies and even with the games because the games have really cool music too. Um, I didn't think that the music was terrible. I just don't think that it elevated the movie up as far as the original two movies. Because even Annihilation, which was a terribly made movie, the soundtrack is absolutely stunning by far the best thing about that movie and it elevated 
that to be at least a semi-entertaining movie. Um, and the fight scenes. Those were the two good ones about Annihilation. But other than that, um, the music is the number one complaint that I had about the movie. Raiden is my second one. My second complaint about this movie. Um, I didn't... It's not that I didn't like his portrayal, I just don't think that he did enough. There were several instances where he could have stepped in and didn't. And he fought in all the games, so it's not like that's um, something, an excuse. <clears throat> and then my third complaint would be the... I understand that they... Um, started the movie with uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero's past and how that led up to the intro of the movie and the importance of Cole Young and everything, but I feel like they took Scorpion out for too much of the first movie. I'm hoping that they bring him back in him and Sub-Zero fight and have more interactions and everything story-wise and everything for the second one especially um i think that uh sub-zero was incredible uh, but i think that they underdid um S scorpion and his purpose and everything i think that they they started out the movie fantastic with that i think that they ended the movie fantastic with that <clears throat> a lot of things, a lot of comments that I actually read online have to do with, because now we're over two decades into Mortal Kombat, so it's not any real secret, regardless if you've seen this movie or not, that um, the whole Sub-Zero and Scorpion thing had to do with Sub-Zero killing scorpion's family not to throw any spoilers around here you know i'm not a spoiler kind of person so i'm not going to ruin the movie for you but um a lot of people had that had a complaint about the beginning of the movie and then the end of the movie because of something that happened but they're not taking into account that um sub-zero literally stuck like uh a ice spear or whatever and you could obviously see it through scorpion's um wife and son but that was not there later on but that is just the only kind of spoiler that i'm going to give away it's not really a spoiler because it's not really giving too much detail away but I think that people need to think about that and take that into consideration before writing obnoxious comments about, um, about that. Um, because they, it happened two different ways. So, anyway, the special effects were incredible. <sighs> the music was there, but it didn't elevate the movie like the soundtracks for the first two movies which were absolutely incredible um and i know that they wanted to do their own thing with it and everything another big complaint that a lot of people had was cole young <clears throat> but you have to have when you're redoing a movie series no matter how faithful you want to be to um the original um games or stories or whatever you have to have originality somewhere regardless if you like it or not it has to, original originality has to be somewhere or otherwise there's no purpose in redoing it <clears throat> could they have done better i mean that's up for opinion could they have done worse heck yeah um so i i don't get all the complaints about that because i I liked all the characters. I thought that all the actors were really great. Um, like I said, my three main complaints were the music, Raiden, and um, the uh, the lack of um, the Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Well, Sub-Zero was in it, but I mean, like, 
between Sub-Zero and Scorpion, and or more Scorpion, I guess, to further along the story instead of just kicking it off and then <clears throat> later on. But um, I think that Goro was incredible. I think that they did really obnoxiously good with him. Um, could they have done more with some of the characters? Of course they could have, but it's a movie, not a TV series. You can do more with a TV series. I'm hoping that... <clears throat> I'm hoping that they launch a series, uh, a streaming series, like on HBO Max, obviously, because they're the ones that have the rights to Mortal Kombat right now. But um, they should do... A series kind of like the Mandalorian like it's Star Wars they put a lot of money and a lot of effort into it and that's what they should do with Mortal Kombat and they would have all their millions and millions and millions of subscribers watch it obviously it's a huge hit because everybody and their mother tuned in to watch the release of the 2021 movie on HBO Max and it so far has broken their records for being the most viewed um, premiere. <clears throat> and that's a big deal because that even beat out um, Godzilla and Wonder Woman 1984. Um, obviously, it's different when it comes to theaters, but it's still number, like it premiered at number one and it's doing far better than what they expected it to. Projections were for opening weekend that it'd be 10 million and then they raised a little bit to 14 million or something I read and then it ended up making 24 million so it made a lot more than what they projected up until opening weekend <clears throat> even after the first day they still didn't change their projections at all um, so that's doing really good financially. Financials have nothing to do with the quality of the movie, of course. And I continue to stress that because I've seen some crappy movies be successful. And I've seen some quality movies tank. <clears throat> it's a shame, but it, it is what it is. It's all about capturing the audience or what, you know, what everybody's doing. You know, there's... There is variables for everything when it comes to that. Um, but anyway, I think that they did absolutely... I think that they did fantastic. The action was really great. Um, I, I think that everybody did great. Um, I can't wait to see the second one, which I guess is supposed to be the actual tournament. <clears throat> so I hope that they make it m more in line with the first original movie back in 95 and i hope that they use that as a base but obviously upgrade it to the year that it's going to be released like i hope that they use the special effects and everything that they had available to them to make this movie and elevate the remake or um their stepping stone of the original first one and kick it off in the stratosphere because they have the technology and everything available to do so <clears throat> i don't know it's just something to throw out there um there's so many incredible characters in mortal kombat so they could they could make 10 movies if they wanted to which is why i hope that they at least from the next one or the third one i hope that they launch an hbo max um an hbo max tv series out of it um i think that they should put in the effort because people if you put in the effort and if you make that risk then people it's going to be rewarded people are obviously going to watch it because they did when you premiered the the movie in on your streaming service so i think that the same thing would happen if you created a tv series just like the mandalorian for example <clears throat> um and the witcher for netflix and lucifer for netflix like their shows if you put in the effort and the risk it's gonna be rewarded 
um, but the network just has to, or the streaming service just has to put forth the effort, um, which I think that they did in this one, and I highly, I highly recommend the Mortal Kombat 2021. Um, it is uh, way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I still thought it was going to be pretty good, but my expectations weren't crazy until I heard that James Wan was um, a part of the movie making process for this movie because he's part of, you know, the Conjuring series, the Insidious series, the Saw series, Aquaman, like he's, he doesn't attach him to movies or movie franchises that don't have quality and that are not, um, that are not at least good. <laughs> I, I don't know how to really word that because he, he doesn't attach himself to terrible projects ever. I've not seen one terrible movie that he's connected with. <clears throat> they all have quality. They all have really good stories. Um, I hope that the next movie elevates the story of this one. It's kind of like, um, I, I don't want to compare it to uh, Marvel's The Avengers, but... Um, I, I think that Infinity War, I don't know, it was good to me, it was not great, and I know a lot of people are going to kill me for this comment, but I I didn't enjoy uh, Infinity War really at all, actually. Um, but I have to say, with that being said, that Endgame elevated the story of Infinity War and actually made me enjoy Infinity War because if you watch it as one great big long movie back to back it's incredible it was incredibly made and they did such a fantastic job and everything um they just put all the not boring pieces and terrible pieces but they just put all the eh stuff in the beginning but I don't know. The second one just elevated it. And I really hope that this one, Mortal Kombat 2021, was already really good. So um, I hope that the second one just elevates this one and makes it better so you can watch them back to back. And then, you know, hopefully the third one, and, you know, and then just keep going up and better and then do hopefully a TV series out of it. And the HBO Max streaming service. I think that that would be a fantastic job, but I'm not a uh, studio executive. I can't make those decisions, obviously. It's just my own personal thought and opinion. And, um, yeah, that's really all that I have to say because the story was really good, the special effects, the actors, I can't, like, I can't say anything enough good about them. Um, Yeah, I just, I, I hope that the next one really elevates this one because this one has potential to be really, really, really great depending on how they're going to do the next one. Um, this one is literally a giant tease of a movie to what is to come. And that's really exciting because it's a movie that makes you want to come back for more to see where, what they're going to do with the next one. So I'm really, um, I'm really excited about them. And I love the Mortal Kombat series. My favorite game growing up was Mortal Kombat 4. Um, I played that the most by far. Uh, and then a close second would be Mortal Kombat Trilogy because it had so many, so many more characters. It had like double the character amount. Like they just had everybody from Sindel to, um, well, everybody it is really crazy. Um, but, yeah, I have really good fond memories of Mortal Kombat 4 on PlayStation. The first one. <laughs> now they're on PlayStation 5. It's really crazy. But anyway, um, I really do wish the cast and crew, and crew all the success in the world, and I really hope that they do um, get to have the chance to make a second one. And... Um, kick ass and take names again um, so there's my review about this one uh, if you like my 
reviews and videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, and tune in for my next video, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.